obviously after the horror and uh, shock of the atrocity last week there is still still all um, deep sadness uh, and sympathy for all of those who were affected by uh, the activities on Saturday night but at the same time people are now uh, really pulling together to take the practical steps needed to bring the market back to life and uh, start um, start opening again and trading again as soon as we possibly can. When do you expect that to be? Uh, the, as I say, the, we've had uh, you know, clearance from the police for most of the market to have access for traders and staff again and everybody's cleaning cleaning up and getting ready uh, to trade. Um, we expect to be opening to the public again within a week. Obviously, the thing about borough market, as anyone who knows it will know, it's an open site uh, with access for everyone. Uh, how difficult has it been to secure the site and what enhanced security measures have you put in place? Um, well, obviously, it is an open space. It's like any public space. Um, and, you know, we have uh, all of the appropriate uh, surveillance place and so forth, which um, obviously been reinforced. Um, and at the moment, it's a site that sort of is locked down for rent. So, you know, when it opens again, it will be like any other open public and it will be a centre of, center of the community again. Um, clearly, the emergency services are on uh, sort of like sense of vigilance um, to carry on like that um, and not be cowed in the face of the sort of that happened. So I don't, I don't think that it's different from how it was before. We're all determined to keep the market open and uh, from all of the expressions of support that we've had from people around the world, it's something that the public wants to and the community wants it back and it wants to reclaim that space.